Hey, do you like magic tricks? Do you like illusions? Well, I've got a really cool one for you today. My name is Evan and I get to serve as the Kid Point Pastor at Life Point Church in Clarksville, Tennessee. And I have a really cool trick for you today that's actually gonna do two things. It's gonna show you a cool trick and it's gonna teach you something about how God wants to work in your life. So let me show you. This trick is called Professor's Nightmare. It's a really cool rope trick, so I'm gonna use these ropes right here for the trick. Now, I have a question first though. Before we get into this trick, I got a question for you. Have you ever felt the pulling, the, the tension, the tightness of wanting to do something that's good, but feeling the pull of doing something that's not good? Have you ever felt like you really wanted to do the right thing, but, but something inside of you kept pulling you and, and going towards the wrong thing? And you just couldn't go and do the right thing, you, you ended up doing the wrong thing. I know I felt that pull, that tension so many times in my own life, but, but what if there was somebody, something or somebody, who could help you any time that that came up? Not just like a mom or a dad who can help you sometimes, but, but what if there was somebody who would help you any time that it came up? Well, I've got news for you, there actually is. God himself, the one who created the whole world and the one who sent his son Jesus to save us from our sins, he actually promised to send someone else after Jesus to be the comforter and the helper that we needed to live a life the way he wanted us to. Somebody who could take that tension and, and kind of pull us toward the right thing. That person is the Holy Spirit. If you accept Jesus, if you say, yes, I want to trust Jesus, you immediately get the Holy Spirit in your life. But some of us, we don't quite know how to think about him or, or how, to, how to really... Yeah, think about him and how to live with him in our lives. So I want to show you some of that, okay? Now, that's where this is where we're going to get to the trick. Some of us have wrong thinking about God, and I know I've been guilty of this in my own life. Sometimes we think about God the Father as like, whoa, he's huge, he's big, he's, he's so big. It talk, the Bible talks about God being infinite, God being before time. God is so big, but sometimes we think about God the Father as big, and then we think about God the Son as, well, he's... He's important, he's, he's pretty big, but not quite as big as God the Father. And then we think about God the Holy Spirit and we're like, who's that? Like, oh, he's, he's kind of that little tack on, that little add on at the end. But, but that's not how the Bible describes God. In fact, in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, the Bible says God describes himself as one person, one being. And then as we go farther on, as he, as he shows himself, as he shows who he is through the Bible, we discover that not only is he God the Father, he's also God the Son, and he's God the Holy Spirit. All three of those people are very important, but what's cool is that they aren't God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They're actually the same. You see, you've got God the Father, and you've got God the Son, and you've got God the Holy Spirit, all three are one. And they actually are three equal beings. They, it, all three of them are important in the Godhead. And all three of them help us to live the life that we're called to live. You see, God the Father calls to us and, and he helps us by sending his son Jesus. God the Son, Jesus, he, sent, he came to rescue us from our sins. But God the Holy Spirit came to be our helper. He came to be the one who, when sin tries to pull us this way, he's the one who's in our, on our side, helping us to live a spirit-led life the way he wants us to. And so if you want to learn how to live that spirit-led life, learn how to live a life where sin doesn't, it doesn't always have the, the bigger pull, where God's Holy Spirit is with you and is pulling on your side, helping you to live His way? Well, guess what? I've got great news for you. The Bible teaches us how to do that, and I'm going to be putting out some videos that are going to help you to, to develop, excuse me, to develop some of the habits that help you to live a Spirit-led life. So be looking for those videos. I hope you enjoyed my trick today. It's a fun trick called Professor's Nightmare, and I'm going to see you next time right here as we learn and discover what it means to love God and live a spirit-led life. See you next time.